welcome all of you in sst college of arts and commerce this is sst edupedia i am assistant professor deepak gawade today we are going to learn a topic of fy bmmc class semester 1 and the subject is effective communication and our topic is types and barriers to listening in today's lecture we will discuss what is listening as well as what are the stages of listening after that we will see what are the different types of listening and barriers to listening and how to overcome those barriers so let's begin it is said that every good conversation starts with good listening so listening is very important skill we should give importance to listening and we should understand that how we can develop our listening skill if you want to become a good communicator we should focus on listening skill also so what is listening see listening is a process of receiving interpreting and reacting to a message received from the speaker so if you see the definition given by management guru tom peters he says that listening is an essential management and leadership skill if you want to become a good manager you should have good listening skill and if you want to success in communication process so you should have good listening skill so listening cannot be done only by ears one can listen with eyes sense mind heart and imagination also now let's try to understand what are the stages of listening see when we say that we are listening what actually we are doing the very first stage of listening is hearing whatever comes to our ears we hear that particular sound so first we hear what the speaker is saying then what we do we focus on that particular message that what is the message given by the speaker then we try to understand comprehending comprehending means what understanding of the message first we understand that particular message and after understanding that message we try to interpret means we get the meaning we are having our own interpretation about that message then we analyze that particular message and after analyzing the particular message we evaluate that message and after evaluating we give the response that is responding the next stage is responding and the last stage of listening process is remembering whatever we listen we remember it so these are the different stages of listening i hope you understood these stages now next we will learn types of listening there are different types of listening on your screen you can see various types the first type is superficial listening the second type is appreciative listening then focused listening evaluative listening attentive listening content listening critical listening and then the last type is empathetic listening now let's elaborate these things what are the different types one by one we will see what does it mean the very first type that is superficial listening now what is this superficial listening is in this type of listening the listener has little awareness of the content what is being said means on the superficial level the listener is listening the speaker is getting that particular message but not that much focused towards the speaker and the message and the output in this type of listening is zero because the listener tends to ignore the message and is not able to concentrate on the thing 
and main points and supporting details of the message so this type of listening means superficial listening is not that useful because the output is zero the listener is not paying attention not focusing on the message so this is about superficial listening now moving ahead the next type the next type is appreciative listening from its name you come to know that what does this type mean so the main purpose of appreciative listening is to get enjoyment and pleasure so from the name of this type appreciative means when we listen we try to appreciate that particular message when we listen to speaker or the sender of the message we try to appreciate so basically so this type of listening is done when we are listening some songs when we are listening some music we try to appreciate it and the output may be uh, taking part in the entertainment process the next type is focused listening so from the name itself you come to know that focused listening means what we pay more attention in this type of listening so it involves listening for specific information we try to find out some specific information from whatever we are listening so this is the most common type of listening that we practice in non formal communicative situations so this is focused listening which is also very important then the next type is evaluative listening now evaluative means whatever content we are listening we try to evaluate that content that's why this listening is called as evaluative listening means whenever we are listening and we are evaluating so it becomes evaluative listening so this uh, evaluating listening involves evaluation of the oral message or commentary and developing a line of thought the listener interprets and analyzes what he or she listens in order to understand both the explicit as well as implicit meaning of that oral message thus the main purpose of evaluative listening is to evaluate the content of the oral message and to select the appropriate information whatever information we require that is selected by the listener through evaluative listening now let's see the next type it is attentive listening means we are very attentive when we are listening through this type it demands the complete attention of the listener and this type of listening is uh, very active listening it is also called as intelligent listening in situations such as a group discussions meetings job interviews and so on in this type the listener pays attention to all parts of the message that is the central idea main points uh, supporting details examples as well as illustrations now let's see next type that is content listening so it is understand and retain the speaker's message what the content is there Ah, in this type of listening you may ask uh, questions but basically information flows from the speaker to you it doesn't matter that you agree or disagree approve or disapprove only what you understand that matters then the next type is critical listening so it is to understand and evaluate the meaning of the speaker's message on several level so when the purpose is to accept or reject the message or to evaluate it critically for example listening to a sales person before making a purchase involves critical listening means in this type we take some certain kind of information and we take the decision based on that particular information so we are critically listening the content of the speaker similarly when you read a book with the objective of writing book review so that is also critical empathetic listening is the another type so when we listen to a 
distressed friend who wants to share his feelings. We provide emotional and uh, moral support in the form of empathetic listening. As well as when psychiatric listen to their patients, their listening is classified as empathetic listening. Empathy, we show empathy, means the listener also feels the same as the speaker is feeling. So this is, we can say that emotional part. Okay, so this is empathetic listening. Now after understanding different types of listening, there are some barriers to listening. Now what is barrier? We know that a barrier is anything that gets in a way of clear communication. Certain barriers occur when we try to listen the content. So let's try to understand different barriers in the listening process. The first barrier which you can see on the screen is physical barrier. Now physical barriers consist of any sound that prevents a person from being heard. Physical noise interferes with a speaker's ability to send messages and with an audience ability to receive them. For example, if suppose there are some whispers, some cheers or uh, the noise of passing cars or there may be intercom uh, interruptions, so it uh, hindrances, it becomes hindrance in the listening process. Now there are another barrier that is people related barriers or we can call it as physiological barriers. So physiological barriers arise when the listener suffers from ill health, fatigue, sleeplessness or some kind of hearing problems and similar other issues. So it may also arise due to the accent and pronunciation shortcomings of the speakers. So these are the physiological barriers in listening process. Then there are some uh, psychological barriers also. So psychological barriers cover the value system and the behavioral aspects. Some examples where listening fails to be effective on account of people related factors such as uh, the speaker speaks in a shrill voice that does not reach the receiver or the speaker speaks very rapidly or with an accent that is not clear or not understood by the receiver so it is also a psychological barrier the receiver of the message it does not consider the speaker to be well informed or sometimes the receiver lets the mind wander rather than stay focused on the message or the receiver perceives the speaker to be lacking in depth or not having adequate authority these are the psychological barriers sometimes there are overload of messages so it is difficult for the brain to digest the overloaded messages to understand the overloaded messages when the message is lengthy or illogical in sequencing it becomes more painful to retain the concentration as a result, listening becomes ineffective. Ego is also one of the problem in listening process. Thinking that my own ideas are more important than those of other persons or I am always right attitude and the other is wrong is the major stumbling block in the way of listening. Listening requires open mind and heart free from negative emotions. If the mind is closed for the other person's message, there will be no listening. Then perceptions also matters. Our perceptions are selective and limited. As a result, we indulge in selective listening, taking the desired part and leaving the undesired part of the message. We do not listen what the other is saying, but what we want to listen. So that is also a big problem in listening or we can call it a barrier in listening. Then another barrier that is poor retention in dialogue or two way or oral communication. The sequence of thought is essential for carrying on communication. To speak coherently one has to remember the sequence of ideas. The structure of thought must be received 
and retained by the listener to understand the arguments. The cues that signal the movement of thought from the one set of ideas to another must be retained by the listener to be able to grasp the full sense of message discussed. But the problem is that there is sometimes because of poor retention, we can't listen properly. We listen one idea after another idea and we forget the previous idea. So we can't understand the message clearly. To avoid this, what we have to do for good listening? So there are certain rules of good listening. We have to follow those rules. And what are the rules? When we are listening anything, any speaker's message, any speaker, what we are supposed to do, we should first stop talking with each other. Then we should stop thinking because when we are listening and simultaneously if we are thinking something, it becomes the barrier in the listening process. So we have to stop thinking also when we are listening something. Then remove distractions, whatever distractions around you, you at the time of listening, you have to remove all those distractions. Okay. Then do not let your mind wander, you should be focused. Concentration is required when you are listening certain things. Do not prejudice. You should not judge at the time when you are listening any content. Be patient. You should remain calm during the listening process. You should listen calmly. Empathize with the speaker. That is also important if you want a good uh, listening skill. And simultaneously you can take notes you can note down some important points so as that will be helpful to you for future reference so these are certain rules which you can follow if you want to become a good listener thank you all of you i hope you understood this topic thanks a lot